Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I wanted to talk about Apple and the rumors that have been going on for years, whether or not they're going to be getting into the crypto space or not. So I pulled a really good article from Coindesk and it kind of touches on certain patents that Apple has put out and them blocking, um, you know, certain uh, 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 crypto apps from their from their actual store itself. So uh, a lot of things going on, so let's go ahead and jump right into the article. So this article's title is, Is Apple Buying Bitcoin? Separating Facts from Fiction. So with leading tech companies such as PayPal and Tesla embracing Bitcoin, industry observers are looking to Apple as the next major firm to step into crypto. Will it really add Bitcoin to its balance sheet? Apple, the world's largest company by market capitalization, I think it's $2.3 trillion, has remained relatively neutral on Bitcoin over the years, despite a growing number of its leading competitors making various forays into the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. So we've got some keynotes here. Google, Google has partnered with multiple crypto-focused companies, become an enterprise network validator for Theta, a decentralized video streaming crypto project, and more recently added a dedicated crypto data tab to its finance page. Microsoft, Microsoft launched an identity overlay Network built on the Bitcoin blockchain and filed a patent in 2020 for a crypto mining system powered by human activity. Facebook. Facebook famously announced this controversial Libra cur cryptocurrency in 2019. It is now known as DM and expected to be released sometime in 2021. Amazon. Amazon is planning to launch its own cryptocurrency project and recently announced its managed blockchain now supports Ethereum. In 2017, Amazon Technologies also purchased a number of cryptocurrency and Ethereum-centered domain names. Interesting. Tesla CEO and self-proclaimed Dogecoin fan Elon Musk recently showcased his support for Bitcoin by purchasing $1.5 billion worth as part of a new investment policy for his electric car company. The announcement sent the crypto market skyrocketing by more than $90 billion and raised hopes that other companies, including Apple, might soon follow suit. So can you imagine the earthquake that Apple would create if they made such an announcement? Apple is one of the largest cash holding companies in the United States with over $195 billion in its coffers. A $1.5 billion investment in Bitcoin would represent a 0.76% allocation. Former Goldman Sachs Raul Powell said in a YouTube broadcast late last year, I'd be very surprised that if within five years time, Apple, Microsoft, and others don't have cash in Bitcoin. On the other hand, cryptocurrency directly competes with fiat currency, and any move by Apple into the digital asset space might undermine its huge cash position. Also, while Apple is lauded as an innovator in the tech space, its size and influence have made the company generally less risk averse. So there is a video in this. I might go ahead and, and put this at the end of, of this video. Um, if not, I'll just put a link to the uh, to the article so you guys can check out the video. Okay, so, so here they're gonna go into a little history, um, Apple's history with Bitcoin and crypto. Apple first came under scrutiny from the crypto community in 2012 after two Bitcoin apps were removed from the App Store on the grounds that apps must comply with all legal requirements in any location where they are made available to users. Despite arguments at the time that there were no legal requirements surrounding Bitcoin and other digital assets, Apple remained steadfast in its decision. It wasn't until much later in 2014 that Apple reconsidered its stance on Bitcoin and crypto apps. Hmm, I wonder why. After a number of other crypto-centric apps, including Coinbase's mobile app, were booted from the App Store, Apple announced plans to change its anti-crypto policy in June of that year during its annual Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco. Apps may facilitate transmission of approved virtual currencies provided that they do so in a compliance with all state and federal laws from the territories in which the app functions. This reopened the door to Bitcoin and crypto app developers and set Apple on a new path towards accepting cryptocurrencies. In 2019, Apple submitted a document with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission that outlined the company's role in establishing blockchain guidelines for the Responsible Business Alliance's Responsible uh, Minerals Initiative, a consortium of companies dedicated to improving welfare standards for the mineral miners and their supply chains. 
These newly created guidelines were described as the first industry effort to define a common set of principles, attributes, and definitions for the application of blockchain technology to support mineral supply chain due diligence. While nothing major for the cryptocurrency, I'm sorry, with, with, with nothing major for the crypto industry, the development showed Apple was taking an active role in shaping the commercial blockchain applications. Seven months later, VP of Apple Pay Jennifer Bailey appeared in an interview on CNN's The Table show and told host Christian Romans the company was beginning to open up the crypto space. We're watching cryptocurrency. We think it's interesting. We think it has interesting long-term potential. Almost two, late, two years later, Apple Pay now supports Bitcoin payments through BitPay integrated services. Bumps in the road. In 2020, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong took to Twitter to speak out against Apple's restrictive app store policies after the platform's app was met with fresh resistance. Here is the issue. Apple has told us that we cannot add the following functionality in our iOS apps. One, the ability to earn money using cryptocurrency. And two, the ability to access decentralized finance apps, sometimes called DeFi apps or dApps. He continued, in addition to earning, they have told us that we cannot provide a list of decentralized apps, which are really just websites, to users on iOS. Apple allegedly said the non-embedded software in Coinbase's app that facilitated cryptocurrency transactions was not appropriate for the App Store. You know, it just kind of makes you wonder, maybe they got something in the works for their own um, applications to buy, sell, and trade crypto. You know, that might be the case. Armstrong replied, Apple... It's time to stop stifling innovation in cryptocurrency. We would like to work with you productively on this. I'm sure he would. Apple encouraged to launch its own crypto exchange. Well, imagine how huge that would be. A recent report published by RBC Capital Markets brought Apple and Bitcoin back into the limelight and catalyzed new conversations around the tech company entering the digital asset space. The report made a case for Apple leveraging its 507 million strong Apple Pay user base to launch its own crypto exchange service, similar to PayPal's closed crypto payment system. Can you imagine, can you imagine Apple providing a crypto exchange with already a, a setup that's already there with its 507 million Apple Pay users? They can essentially give half a billion people access on their platform to digital assets. That would be huge. If the firm decides to enter into the crypto exchange business, we think the firm could immediately gain market share and disrupt the industry, or they would definitely disrupt the industry. Adding, Apple's install base is 1.5 billion, and even if we assume only 200 million users would transact, this is 6.66 times larger than Square. Than Square. Therefore, the potential revenue opportunity would be in excess of $40 billion a year. 15% incremental top line opportunity. Wow, those numbers are impressive to say the least. While this hypothetical situation may hold some merit, it's worth reiterating that Apple has not voiced any intention to launch a cryptocurrency exchange, nor add any Bitcoin to its balance sheet. For now, this is all just wishful thinking. And that is the end of the article. That was a lot. So to kind of put things into perspective, they obviously have a huge user base that they have access to. Um, and really, would there be any reason that they wouldn't enter into the crypto space? Maybe they're waiting along the sidelines for uh, regulatory clarity um, while they're building out, you know, some infrastructures. But I guess we'll, we shall see. Anyways, I think I'm going to post that video um, on here and I'll also put the link as well. Kind of makes you wonder and kind of makes you... Um, a little anxious thinking if, if a, a juggernaut like Apple entered into the crypto space where it would take some of these um, prices, you know, specifically Bitcoin. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was kind of a long one. Um, please like and subscribe and please share this video, guys. Thank you and I will see you in the next one. All right, Mitch, so we see Tesla making a big move into Bitcoin, but Apple seems to me to play more conservatively. Do you agree and give an overview of your report? Yeah, so there's basically two concepts here. So the first one I think will be very easy, uh, which is a very simple question, which is if Apple adds 1% of its balance sheet to Bitcoin, do you think the price is going to go down? Um, it's pretty much a self-explanatory. The price would go up, right? So the second one is on the cryptocurrency exchange side. What I'm saying here is that they've got a closed ecosystem, right? So what that means is you can do something very similar to what PayPal does. 
PayPal does not allow you to take your money off of the system, right? So if Apple were to integrate that into their cell phones, they would be merging software, services, and hardware into one, which is their exact business model. And then instead of being forced to deal with kind of these issues with KYC, where you can't, you know, move your stuff off exchange, et cetera, you could keep it all in the closed ecosystem. You could be regulatory compliant. And on top of that, you would then be seen as kind of a forward-looking tech company. I think at this point, when you got... You know, Tesla, arguably one of the smartest people in the world, uh, the CEO, Elon Musk, there, despite what people think of him, is kind of be more of like a, uh, I guess, a flamboyant person. You can't you can't knock on the results of what he's done for multiple companies, what he's done uh, for the world in general. Right. So when you have somebody like that step in and he apparently tried to sell to Apple, I'm pretty sure that they're at least looking at this. And at least a minimum integration into their, their wallets makes sense because they got the most secure uh, software in the world. If I understand the framing of this report correctly, um, it's that Apple should do this because it would help prevent the U.S. government from ever banning the crypto industry. Is it, that's 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 I believe that's what you were how it was framed. Um, is that really something that that's a threat? Is that I, I my impression was that there's very little threat that the U.S. government is going to ban crypto or or ban the industry. It feels like that ship has has sailed. No, yeah, so I don't think that they're, they're going to look to ban this stuff. I mean, if Coinbase is going public, I mean, you, you're, you're going to see more regulatory framework around this. Um, I guess the more the bigger picture message here is if Apple helps legitimize the se sector in a closed ecosystem, again, a lot of people who are really um, hardcore Bitcoiners are not going to go into a closed ecosystem, as you guys know, uh, due to all the, you know, the security differences there. But for the average person, who may lose their keys, lose their coins, et cetera, and all these other issues that have come up, this would be a very good alternative. And then Apple could basically make the United States a leader in the entire space forever for good. Because if you have 200 million install base, that is effectively a country, right? I mean, we're talking about an enormous install base. So I don't know why, personally, you would spend $20 billion to try to compete against Elon Musk when you could spend 500 million or less, create a basic service that people want and just kind of differentiate your product portfolio with a very high upside and a very low downside because if the price goes to zero, it doesn't even matter for you. Why wouldn't they do something like Facebook, which is create their own uh, poten or potentially create their own uh, cryptocurrency? Why would they have to then why should they even bother becoming an exchange? Why can't they just control the process from end to end? Nobody would buy that, right? I mean, first of all, regulatory issues for issuing I, I, your own. Why not? They wouldn't buy it because it's a centralized currency, right? So, I mean, in the end, you need something decentralized because that's where the value is, right? So I don't agree at all with the prior comments about there being no value. The decentralization and disintermediation is, is the key value here, right? Um, when you think about dematerialization, you're talking about going from like an Apple or sorry, a, a physical map to like a digital map. Right. And so that has huge value because, you know, you don't have to carry this physical object that, ha that has no bells and whistles to it. With Bitcoin now, you can basically use Strike and you can move it around the world for free. Right. So it's definitely not true that you have to pay twenty dollars or whatever every single time. And so now you what you've done is you, you basically dematerialize gold. You've taken all the value that gold had. Please don't tell me that there's any real intrinsic value to gold because if you look at the content in an iPhone, it's tiny, tiny amounts, and there's tons of substitutes you can put in there. So the vast majority of the value is just in the rarity of it, right? Just like a diamond, just like any other high-end jewelry item, it is not intrinsic value. The vast majority is just based on the scarcity of it. And so now as you got more and more people adopting it, and you got more and more people being able to send and use it for practically for free. And then you got the millennial generation who's essentially looking for ways uh, to, to have a future. Uh, this is pretty much a perfect setup um, for crypto long term. Mm -hmm. um, and Apple just needs to kind of step up its game, in my opinion, and kind of help us move along here because it's just not going to go away anytime soon. You usually don't have a $1.3, $1.4 trillion market go to zero overnight. So I think that ship has basically sailed at this point. So again, it just seems like an easy way for them to generate significant shareholder value with limited downside, even if, even if they don't believe the Bitcoin price is worth 46K or 20K, all they have to do is help people move it around. And at that point, they will be seen as kind of a forward-looking thinker, uh, very similar to how they were in the past. And so right now it's kind of Jack and Elon Musk that are seen as kind of the iconoclasts right. or magnites. 
I feel like Tim Cook needs to be that guy. Then. 